Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, we're doing Secrets of the XK8. Um, this one uh, is one that I was parking for a little while, if I'm absolutely honest, mainly because car's up in the air, so not the most convenient thing. But it's about trunk or boot lights, luggage compartment lights, to make sure you're on properly transatlantic. Um, and I'd parked it because I thought, well, you know, it's a, it's a nice small thing for another day. But looking on some of the forums, I was really surprised at how much really bad advice was being given. So I thought I'd do a quick how the trunk lights work, where the fuses are, how they're switched, etc. Uh, for a few of our subscribers who had written in specifically to me about that. Um, so here we go. Item number one. This is the location of the trunk, boot or luggage compartment lights. They are just below the tail lights on the inside of the luggage compartment. And there are two and they are obviously evenly spaced. People are having with, uh, problems with the boot lights not operating or perceiving them not to operate at least. One of the things that's been suggested as a root cause is the wiring that goes from the car through this little plastic connector and into the boot lining or the uh, trunk lid uh, liner. Right, there is no connection between that and the boot lights whatsoever. If it's on a 308, then maybe, I'm not sure. If it's on a XK, then maybe, I'm not sure. But if your boot lights, trunk lights, are the same as on my car, i.e. it's an XK8, XKR, and they're mounted there, then that wiring has no connection with them whatsoever. One of the reasons that people believe that is this thing on the boot lid, trunk lid, which to all the world genuinely does look like a pin switch that would operate or turn off uh, the interior lights for the boot lid when, uh, when it's depressed. It's not an electrical device at all. That is purely a heavy spring that pops your boot lid open. So that is not a switch. In fact, you can hear me operating it, I think. And there's your lights. So, rummaging around in that wiring is a bit of a fool's errand. Next, if that's not the boot light switch, where is it? Well, here is one of our boot lights. This is the latch that the um, boot lid just has a metal hoop that it presses down into to lock. And I'm not going to suggest you guys do this because if you don't know what the mechanism looks like, you might lock it and not be able to unlock it. Um, but if I press in the right places in here, whoops, I can operate my boot lights. So when the boot believes it's shut and locked, the lights go off. When the boot is open, the lights come on. Next, if you put a small screwdriver under the edge of the lens of your light, and pull forward gently, then it pops out. There is a little recess on both sides. There we go. If you're having problems with your lights, first port of call, check the actual lamps or bulbs. If you look at the back of the lamp, the electrical connector comes out nicely. You just squeeze these two ears and slide it back and out she comes. The purple and white wire, which I'm connecting up to, there we go, um, and I've got the meter set to volts. Just gonna touch the other connector to earth and not a good earth as it turns out. Battery's running a bit low. 11.7, so that, that's 12 volt supply. Until I tell the car that it's locked and it's still 
12 volt supply. The 12 volt supply is permanent. The other terminal is earth and earth is switched on and off by the latch that I've just showed you. So you can check your purple and white should be all the time 12 volts. Your earth should be switched on and off by the latch for the um, boot lid. So the next question is where's the fuse? Well it doesn't have its own fuse. Obviously mine's a UK car so uh, you have to work the handedness out yourself but on mine it's the driver's side or the right hand side of the uh, dashboard you have a fuse box and before I go in there I'm going to just point out that the interior lights are on. If I point at my fuse box um, starting from the top far away from me near the hinge if we go one two three four five six seven you should come to a 15 amp fuse if I pull the 15 amp fuse the interior lights go off and the boot or trunk lights go off that's the fuse you're looking for it's number seven on the right hand dashboard end fuse box and it supplies all of the body module lights and motors so plug that back in you'll note the lights are not on so immediately at this point we're all panicking just close the door give it a mo open the door lights are back on and so are the boot or trunk lights if your boot or trunk lights do not work what should be your course of action number one check the bulbs lamps i should say in the units themselves check that they work check that you've got a permanent supply to one of the terminals attached to the lamp should be 12 volt all the time and uh, you should check also that you've got an earth connection from the other terminal um, and if you're confident enough to fish around inside here then you know on your own head be it but uh, there's three pieces of metal there whoops there we go thin to my left thicker in the middle and then a big piece on the right the middle one of those so it's hard to show because of the rubber flaps one sec try again the middle one of those if you push it down and towards you on the right hand side should be able to just move it far enough without latching it to turn that off if you push this too far it will lock press the boot release before you slam the boot lid else you'll damage it for ease i would then check the fuse box on the right hand side of your dashboard but there's only really one culprit if it's not the lamps have failed in this. It is usually the micro switch on the latch. Um, I'm not going to take mine out now because the car's up on a ramp for uh, brake work and it's just too inconvenient. But um, essentially what you're going to do is remove these plastic fittings. Um, there's some more fittings in these recessed holes. Take the boot floor out it just lifts out the battery cover out just lifts out and then you're going to remove this plastic trim panel once in there you can unbolt the whole latch um, it's on two captive um, nuts um, from the metalwork and attached to that latch is a micro switch and 
The micro switch is very simple, but if you want to get the original equipment one, it's going to cost you about £25. So that is probably where most of your woes are coming from if the, the lamps actually operate. So who would think you could get that in depth on a, a trunk lamp or a luggage compartment lamp, but we have. So yeah, I do know a lot of you are having troubles with it and it can be a real pain in the bum, particularly if it's intermittent because it can cause alarm issues, etc., etc. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd do that one now because some of the advice I was seeing on the internet was plain wrong and um, involved pin switches that don't exist in the trunk lid, uh, wiring going into the boot lid can be damaged, and it can be of course, but it's not going to affect your trunk lights. So look after yourselves and see you again real soon on To The Garage.